Welcome to another video by DHS PRC. Today we have the Outcast 4S. A little bit the aftermath after the one of the last videos I posted in the sand pit with it on paddles. Uh, yes, I did break an A-arm on it, the rear A-arm, and I basically just continued bashing it uh, until the battery died. What's remarkable about this vehicle here is on a 4S 5050C, I'm running close to half hour to 35 minutes. Uh, I just love the 4S version, uh, but let's remove the tires off of this. It, cause it is still full of sand. And let's, uh, let's see what I need to fix here. And I will go with RPM for the physical part itself. Let's remove these paddles. They're a little bit sandy. Maybe I should have done this before starting my video. They're a lot sandy. Not to lose my X. Even if they're not supposed to come off, they do come off. I'm just gonna put my nut back here. Because they do have a set screw here to, to tighten them up, but they still do come loose. I did put them very tight, like very tight, to the point that I can't even take it off. There we go. Because it happened on one of my videos, uh, basically one of the first time I played with it, that I physically, physically, lost uh, a nut in grass and super happy that I found it back found it should I say and even found the eh, the X itself in the X pin that was yeah pretty much should have bought a 649 that day now if you're going underneath here you see the arm itself it's not supposed to move that way it is broken right here uh, it's only hinging on the back part but let's remove the shock the c-hub the bumper in the back here we'll be able to remove the pin pop this one back in back out should i say install our arm do the same thing on the other side, and we're off to the races. These are two mil. Yeah, there we go. I'm mixing my screwdriver here. And what I do, I grab a smaller screwdriver that I have, and I just insert in the C-hub to remove this pin. Now this falls off. Let's remove the shock. Make sure not to lose the washer. Try to remove a little bit of the sand. This, this is a three mil. Uh, 
even if something jammed in here. And I'm not sure, I think it might even be a piece of plastic. I know, I'm sure you guys can't see it. But this is concaved and I do have something wedged in there. Not sure what it is yet. But we'll find out soon enough. Uh, no, don't need to do this one. There's a couple of things I do love about Arma that they thought ahead of putting multiple pieces to be able to remove. Uh, a lot of vehicles, basically, you'll need to remove the rear bumper, the rear brace, uh, just to be able to have access to the, uh, let's say, the arms or the rear diff. Uh, I'm not going to mention any names here, Traxxas. They could improve their, their design. Don't get me wrong, I do like Traxxas too. Okay, that's off. We'll need to remove this one here too. Oops. 2.5, come on. Now, I have this vehicle. I, I have it for what, since maybe April? Yeah, it is a plastic of the A-arm itself. <laughs> And literally what I broke on it, I see up in front and the A-arm, that's it. Now we'll slide the pin out. Just gonna inspect the pin, make sure she's straight. She looks straightish and remove our arm. Like you can see here, it's kind of missing a part. But let's remove these stock arms and the other piece that I broke. And then let's install the RPM version. Now the RPM version are supposedly warranted for life. I never Try to warranty one apart. It's more a little bit of a pain for me here because I'm in Canada. Sometimes when you're trying to insert your pin, it's not working. Grab a screwdriver, a lot more leverage on it, be able to align it, and then your pin goes in when they want to. There we go. Now she's fully inserted. Now I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the other side. I did not dismantle the other side completely yet, but I'll take a little bit of advancement here. You're being stubborn. Very stubborn. Very good hammer. MIP tools. <laughs> you should not do that with your, your tools. Rub off a little bit of this guy's here. Let's put this retainer back. 
and clean off a little bit of the sand out of this guy. Believe it or not, it is extremely fun to play in sand, but man, does it get dirty. Okay, put our long screw back here. Put the small one in. Now, what you could do, you could rebuild and put this plate at the end. Doesn't really matter which direction you go for this guy here. And it's basically pretty much the uh, reverse that you did to dismantle it. Uh, a lot of times, well, I'll suggest to a lot of people is undo one side instead of undoing all, all both sides in one shot. Let's say something happens, you can't continue on it. Uh, you need to stop to go do something uh, or whatever. And you get back and you're like, oh, I don't remember where this goes or that goes this way. You can't forget it because you have another side to identical to follow. Same issue on this side here. Align the pins. There we go. Now put our screw, find my two mil. Insert this guy in. Not gonna over tighten this guy because it is only in plastic. Uh, I'm gonna put our screw back here. And normally I would use power tools, but I forgot to charge my battery. But definitely, if you're watching this just to see how the machine goes, uh, and you're not sure if this is what you want to buy, it's yes. Now, if you're used to a 6S machine, this guy here will feel like it's under power. I'm used to a 6S machine myself personally. And every time I do drive this guy, <laughs> I feel like I'm missing power. But just the physical running time of the machine itself. Um, I love it. Literally, like I said, I get close to probably half hour to 35 minutes of running time uh, with him. Now again, basically what I just did at this side, I need to reproduce on this guy on this side here. I'm not going to bore you guys continuously for this side. If you did one side, you're going to be able to do the other side. Now, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up in that corner. It does help a lot. And if you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate. Post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.